don't know about column selection mode, the first thing you need to know is how to move the cursor, uh, not only by characters, but by words, and how to select. On the Mac, um, jumping by word is going to involve using option and then right arrow, uh, option and then left arrow to jump left by a word. Uh, on a PC, that's going to be uh, control right arrow and control left arrow, and that should work in any app on your Mac or PC, basically any app. Um, if you want to select, you need to hold down the shift key while you move the arrow key. So select to the right is going to select uh, by characters, select to the left is going to select by characters. And you can com uh, control the option uh, arrows to move by word with the shift arrows to move by character uh, in order to select by word. So option shift to the right or control shift to the right on a PC is going to select words uh, to the right and um, option shift to the left or control shift to the left is going to select words. Uh, by character. So suppose we have more text than that. Now you want to move into um, column selection mode. This keyboard shortcut is going to vary based on the application you're using. So different apps have implemented this differently. You're probably going to want to Google um, the name of your preferred text editor and then uh, the platform that you're working on along with column selection mode. So you might Google, in my case, uh, VS Code Mac column selection mode or uh, Stata PC column selection. Um, PC R Studio column selection. On the Mac in VS Code, you're going to uh, select columns or move into column selection mode by holding down the Option and Shift keys on the keyboards while dragging with the cursor. So suppose I had a, a sort of tab delimited um, text file, and what I wanted to do was try to um, create email addresses recognizing that the middle column of each one um, was the beginning of a Gmail address. I don't know, the kind of thing you might need to do. So if I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner, I've got the cursor there. Um, and I can hold down Option and Shift and then drag with my cursor uh, in order to get the whole um, first column. And then um, what I want to do is I want to select this first column of words, and so I can select, as I mentioned before, using Option, Shift, and the right arrow, uh, and that's going to select that whole first column. And now if I let go of Option because I just want to get one more character and I just hold Shift and to the right, I can select the tab character that comes afterwards, uh, and I can hit Delete. I can also cut and paste these, but I'm going to hit Delete to get rid of them. Now suppose I wanted to get rid of the, uh, of the column at the end, uh, the last column of words. So I can move my cursor to the left um, by hitting the left arrow key, but uh, that very first row I kind of don't want um, to move to the left of which, um, and so I'm actually going to hit the down arrow first, and you'll see my flashing cursor um, is going to all move down one uh, row, and so I no longer have a cursor next to which. Um, my column still goes down the entire first column, but starts um, to the left of the word restoration in row two. And now if I hit the left arrow, I'm going to move to the end of the column beforehand. And so now I'm well positioned to select that entire last word in each column by holding down Option, Shift, and moving my arrow to the left. And so Option, Shift, Left arrow is going to select that last column of words. Um, if I let go of the Option key, I can do Shift, Left arrow to select um, that tab character that preceded it. And again, I could uh, cut or copy, um, but I'm going to hit Delete to get rid of them. And the cursor remains at the end of each row, so at this point I could just type at gmail.com, um, and I'm ready to work uh, with a list of email addresses um, uh, to paste into my email program or do something else with.